Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Fabric Time. Again, um, I'm my delinquent son who usually does the music, um, Eddie. He has summer school today, so you so you're gonna have to just put up with me without the uh, pleasurable background music. Um, now you'll notice we've changed our set a little bit only because we rearranged the store and where we usually film. It's been uh, it's kind of hard to get at now. Um, we're set up for filming, so hey, something new, something different. Everything's always good. We appreciate you tuning in. Um, as normal, we have Rio behind the uh, computer as our producer, and. Like I said, we had kind of switched fabric time up. We're no longer doing like the sales things. I know some of y'all tune in to make super deals on the sales, but you know, good news is we're doing summer clearance right now, so we've got a bunch of stuff. It's five ninety five a yard. We're going to be doing that through probably the end of the month, if I had to guess. Um, it's not going to be much longer than that um, because by the end of July, we're going to you know hopefully have it all cleaned up and moving on in the world because you know it's summer clearance and July is summer. I know we could say August is, but anyway. So today, um, and the other thing we've got going on, um, this Saturday we do have a class on the schedule, um, Bags with Brenda. We're going to be making this cute little Easy Does It bag, um, as you can see here on the close-up. Oh. It's super cute, I guess. I mean, I like the fabric. We use the uh, fossil fern line. But we're going to be making this bag um, this Saturday with Brenda. Class is dollars That includes, um, all you got to bring to the party for that is your sewing machine and two fat quarters. We're going to provide the zippers and all the other extra bits and pieces that you would need for that. So like I said, that's 45 bucks. That's a Saturday. And don't sign up. I don't have a lot of people sign up for that class yet. And, you know, if you want us to keep doing classes, you've got to have people coming coming to them. Otherwise, why are we going to go through all the trouble? Um, so that's this Saturday. We also have uh, Tucker University with Bonnie coming up a week from Saturday. Um, we definitely have a few spots open for that as well. So go to our website. Um, Check out the classes if there's something you're interested in. Sign up online and it'll reserve your seat. Um, hope you all had a, ha a happy fourth. Um, updates from my end. Didn't really do anything. My brother came to town, so uh, we didn't. We were planning on going camping, but my brother was in town, so we actually just kind of hung out and did like brother stuff, I guess. Which, as you get older, turns into a lot of just sitting around and talking, you know. But anyway, that's uh, that's life. Um, so that was my fourth. And it's beautiful summer out there, so I imagine that um, not a lot of sewing going on right now. But anyway, one of, uh, today I just wanted to do get a quick. We good? What's that? Oven mitts. Oven mitts. That's she. That's why I have her keep me straight. We're also doing a class on oven. What was the date on that one again? It is July twenty fifth. July twenty fifth. We're going to do a class on oven mitts, um, and they're the nice ones with the silicone sleeves on them. Um, so you make like your own custom thing. Really nice class. That one um, really popular. That one is also going to be, I believe it's $45, and uh, that again, just, I think you just need to bring a couple fat quarters of some fabric to that one, because that one as well is going to be, we'll have all the materials as part of the class. Um, and forget anything else? Or are we good? You should be good. Okay. Do we have anybody watching yet? Yeah, we have three. Really? I always find it amazing. People watch because it's 8.30 in the morning. But anyway. Anyway, so... Now, to the fun stuff. So, like I said, we'll be doing this class. And like I said, we, we switched away from, oh, even though we're not selling stuff, not a whole lot came in because of the holiday weekend. However, this did show up yesterday from FedEx. It's actually supposed to be a panel. I'm not going to cut the panel because the running yardage of this is just fantastic. It is a really cool city scene. And we'll do a close-up here oh. in just a second. But, so this actually is supposed to be a panel, but I'm not going to be cutting it as a panel. It's going to be $9.95 a yard, simply because you can see how that's just some nice running yards. You can do some really interesting stuff with that. And I'll give you a so you can kind of see the colors. Oh, we're going to? Yep. So that's, that just came in. Um, I haven't had a chance to put it online yet. It's $9.95 a yard. It just came in yesterday. Um, what's that? There are coordinates, yes. Cool. We do have some coordinates. Well, since you're asking, I'll grab them real quick. And now there's emptiness on the screen, and oh my gosh, what is going on? It's the end of the world. And is that online yet? It is not. It will be on before the morning's out. It came in later in the day yesterday, and I didn't have time to get it on because there's a million other things going on. Because, you know, the vacation's over. Am I on camera too? Yeah. So here's one of the coordinates, 
And what's really cool about it is you can see that it's kind of like an ombre. It goes from this yellow to the pink to this blue back to the yellow. So that's one. And I'll show you on the big camera, kind of get a feel for it. That's one side. And then you can see how it continues over to that. So that's one. And then this is the other one. Now this stuff is also really cool. Some of that so far so goody that we had come in a few weeks ago, uh, the dot look really nice with this one. Um, and you can see that's really pretty. It's kind of a fun one. So that just came in. That'll be available online here in a little bit. Um, and then, so that's really the only exciting for new stuff because with the with the holiday week and stuff, it you know not a lot of stuff came in. So that's that. One of the questions I've been getting a lot in the last little bit is what to do with scraps. You know, everybody has like a bucket of scraps of stuff. And most of your scraps are probably going to look something like that or some strips that look like this. And you'll even get scraps that, you know, you square something up that somehow look like that. And it's like, what do you do with it? And I'm going to show you what one of the things you can do with it. It's actually a technique I use a lot of times. I sometimes won't even use scraps for this. I'll actually cut strips to do this and do this like in a bunch of um, blues or reds. So then I have these patches of patchwork fabric and then I'll cut strips and blocks out of those. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. But this is just a quick, easy, quick, easy technique as far as, I don't wanna say it's quick. It can actually be quite time consuming. It's a lot of fun um, and you can get some really interesting stuff out of it, but it's really easy to do. There's really no thought at all on how to do this. It's, it's one of these tricks that's amazingly easy. Um, and without further ado, I'll just show you how it's done. Um, so all you do is you take the strip, and of course I have another scrap here. It's not the same width of that strip. It's not the same length. There's nothing about this strip that matches that strip. I don't care. All I'm going to do is line them up on an edge, like so. Kaboom. You know, line them up as you can. That would be perfect. And then I'm just going to run it through these. And yeah, quarter inch seam as normal, you know, all the same rules apply. And I'm just gonna sew that up until that's done. Now, if you do do this a lot, just keep in mind is it makes sense to do a bunch of start a bunch of blocks at once. You don't want to just do one and stop and keep going because what was going on there is that. Anyway, so then you just I'm just gonna sew that on there and if you want to the camera you can make them watch me do the ironing and all that funness. Then I'm just gonna iron it flat. Oh, I'm gonna iron it flat, not on my cutting board, but on my ironing mat. See so and these little wool ironing mats are fantastic. Um a little bit pricey, I'll admit that. This one here we do for thirty but uh thirty four ninety five. This little one here works great. See how it fits nicely on my cutting table and it just it's really nice to iron on. I wasn't leaving all the hype until I just tried it and I'm like that's fantastic so now we have this piece here that doesn't look like much and it should now here's where the fun begins all I'm gonna do is you know normally you cut it I'm just gonna throw, drop my ruler on there and I'm not even gonna care that it's not square I'm just gonna cut that I'll uh, do cut that one there and then I want to cut the salvage off too so I'll cut that off now, I can leave it big like this if I want, but I'm using smaller scraps. I'm going to cut that one more time, and, I'm, and I don't really care how. It, I'm just cutting a line. You'll notice that's all cut wonky. There's nothing straight. They're straight. There's nothing square on it, though. That's all cut wonky. And I've got to get myself another color to add here because it didn't add enough, bring enough colors. And you, you need to have a lot of different colors of scraps for this to work to look right. The more you have, the better off you are. And I'm just going to use this piece here for the next bit. So this is a piece I just made. I just cut that out of the two strips I put together, and I have this piece here. All I'm going to do now, right sides together, line it up. I'm just throwing that. I'm just I'm just picking a side. I don't want to pick this one of the one of the edges here because then I'm just having a strip. I'm going to actually go here, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'm just going to sew that like so. Put that on there best I can and then I'm just gonna run that through the machine now like I said if you do do this you want to do this you want to have three or 
like I usually like have half a dozen of these going at once, so I can chain stitch a bunch through and then stop and iron. Because the trick to this is a lot of um, you're gonna run your strip through, and like I said, if you have if you have a bunch of these going at once, you can just sit and chain stitch a bunch. All right, I'm also going to use this right now as a quick learning lesson. Um, we're just going to detour for a quick second. Notice that, I don't know if I can see this here, looking at the machine, see I'm zooming way in. Do you see where the bobbin thread is pulling off of there? That means that my bobbin thread is not going through this tension spring here. So my tension on this, that on the things I have just sewn is all out of whack because there's no tension on it because I didn't put my bobbin in properly um, when I was, uh, before I got started. We still on camera too? Yep, are we gonna give a demonstration on how to fix it? I'm gonna show you how to fix it right now. So I'm gonna do is pull the bobbin out. This is one of the reasons why whenever somebody calls me up, oh, my tension's all wrong, I always say, did you re-thread it? Because all you gotta do to fix that is just re-thread it on a brother you just run it through this little thing here and it does it normally and so now i'm going to do that and just to show you what that looks like just kind of, oh i just oh, i can't want to do that you just get to see all the stuff when i do this live there we go you just want to make sure that little tab well you can't see because my big hairy arm you want to make sure that little tab over there gets underneath that spring because that's what pops it up. If you don't do it, it's a pain to get it back out, um, open it back up. So now what I'm, I'm just going to do a quick cycle the needle real quick. I'm just going to, and it's probably, I'm just going to pull it up so we can demo. Let's just do this. I'm just gonna sew this seam real quick so I can show you what the what this is supposed to look like. Now, if you look closely, you're gonna see now I'm using really fine thread, but you'll see right there, you can almost see it. It's really hard to see. See, that's where the thread's at. That's what it should look like when your bobbin's loaded properly. So that was just a quick detour. Um, that happens a lot, and like I said, by re- by re-threading it, we fix the problem. But if you ever have that issue and you see what you, you saw where the what that thread looked like coming off the bobbin there, that's pretty. I see that a lot. Um, it just happens. I don't, you know, it just kind of jumps out of the thing. I don't know. Wish I had a good reason why. But the easy fix is to just um, re-thread the machine. All right. So now you can see we have this piece here that we just sewn together. All I'm going to do is drop it over here on my iron on my mat. And which way do you press? I don't know. Press to dark if you want specific instructions. Or press to light. It's whatever makes you happy on this one because it doesn't really matter. So now we have this wonky looking piece here. Now, what you do here is now when we first cut this one here, we just went wonky knife, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to just try and make some straight edges. So I could line it up right even with this. Um... So you can see I'm right even with that piece I just sewed there. I could go like this, but whatever I do, I'm trying to get a straight line from this side to that side so that I have another edge I can sew pieces to. Um, if I go there, I'm still going to be square there, so I don't really care about that. I'm just going to drop that like there. And there's that side is done. I'm going to square this side off like so. That side is now squared off. So now we're left with this looking funny looking piece here. And then what you'll notice, well, I could cut the wonky edge off of that, but we have another center to start here. Um, that's not going to be much to do with, so I'm just going to wing that off like so. And then I'm going to use that same technique, because this was another scrap that I just happened to have kicking around. All I'm going to do here is continue that line that's coming up off of there. I'm just going to cut this straight here like so. And so now you'll notice we have this piece here, some scraps here, and all I'm going to do is add, I'm going to take this piece, and I'm just going to throw another piece on here, like so. We're just going to put that on there. 
run it through. Now, I think at this point, I'm hoping you're all kind of seeing the uh, technique on how this is done. There is not a lot of thought that I'm putting into it. Now, admittedly, in this demo, I don't have a lot of variety in the scraps that I'm using. So, so I had to repeat myself. I would have done a different color there because I already have the color here. So I'm using the same color on the two ends. But you can kind of get the idea. So then I take that off. And I'm going to iron that flat like so. And then we're going to just repeat this process again. I'm going to take that off. It goes here. And I don't know if this, well, hopefully you can see it all right. And then I'm just, again, lining this, just cutting a straight line off of this edge here. Straight. And I'm going to do the same thing off the other end that we just did. I'm going to actually bring that in a little bit and give myself a little bit off the edge. So here's the piece that I've got now. Isn't that wonderful? Now, this is another piece that I had started, which is actually some strip sets that got trimmed off of a, like a jelly roll type thing. All I'm going to take there is line that straight edge up. I'm going to line that up with that right there. I'm just choosing the side, putting it. And you'll notice here too, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to sew this like so. And you can see, like I said, there's not a whole lot of, um, I'm not stressing out about seam allowances, points, or this or that. I am just sewing and going. And so, here again. Here's our piece that we sewed out. I'm just going to iron that flat. Iron flat. Yay for flatness. And then I'm going to trim off the edges. So now as I trim the edges off, if you is it looking alright on the screen? Yeah. Okay. As I trim the edges off. Now this one's kind of funky. I got two ways I could go here. I like I said, I want to make sure I'm straight across here. So I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna go more like that. So here's the here's the block we've got so far, and we can just keep going. I can just keep adding strips and pieces, and now I've got this one started. This is what I just cut off, and you'll notice now I can actually add this strip to it and continue the process with the leftovers from this and my pile of scraps. Um, now you say, what do you do with it after you get it to a certain size? After you get it big enough, you can square it up to say like an eight inch block or twelve inch block. You can cut strips out of it. Like if they were all blue, you could cut strips out of it and then turn it into like half square triangles. So there's a bunch of different things you could do with it. But this is, like I said, this is just some scraps I had kicking around. And you saw how quick it was for me to do that. Now, if you, like I said, if you're going to do a lot of these, you'd want to chain, start start a couple different blocks and just chain stitch them through and then get up and iron and cut and then get the process going. I want to go back to camera one. Yeah. That is the demo for the day. See, we just made that that block there. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. Again, I'm not sure how to make a quilt with it. This is just a technique to make parts. You could do an entire quilt top with it if you wanted to. I have done similar stuff. You could make 12 inch blocks, put some sashing around it. Um, like I said, what I've done with it in the past is I'll take like a bunch of blues. So I'll have like this blue scrappy piece of material and then I'll cut that up and use that and do like a red one and then have these red and blue blocks that have the scrappiness to the, to the, so you can make big, like, 8-inch blocks, you know, an 8-inch four-patch that's made with this stuff. It looks really neat. Um, but that's what we that, – that's today's demo. Um, like I said, I apologize. We don't have any good music today because Eddie's at summer school. Hopefully he'll get his stuff sorted so next time we do this, you can all tune in and catch that. Um, like I said, we've got the, the bag class this weekend with um, – to make that bag I showed you earlier. We've also got the oven mitt coming up in a couple weeks, and then we've got Tucker U with Bonnie is going to be happening a week from Saturday. These are all on the website. You can sign up online. I encourage you to do so so that we know that we've got people coming to class because if we don't have anybody signed up a day before, we're probably not going to run the class because it's um, to, to set everything up. It's just not, well, you know, if you're not coming, if you're not going to come, if you're not going to come, why are we going to build it type thing? So we encourage you all to, you know, Participate in some of our classes so that we can keep doing more of them. We're trying to do more with the class. Uh, we have a nice new classroom setup that we reorganized over the holiday week. Um, and all that fun stuff. Any questions for anybody? We're good. Still the same three people? Oh, we're up to four. Yeah, we have Sarah four people joined. watching. 
Sarah, oh my gosh, I'm going to hear about all this when she comes to visit because my brother's coming for breakfast apparently in a little bit. Um, but anyway, I thank you all for joining. Um, like I said, any questions, you can always call us, shoot us a message on Facebook or give us a call here at the shop. Uh, we're always glad to help and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.